Hello, Assalamualaikum, good morning and welcome back after holiday and we are going to continue on page 76 so please get ready with your textbook so let's go through on your lesson objective for today number one by the end of the lesson I hope you can say at least these four adjectives Scary, funny, delicious, and boring. You know the meaning and you can pronounce it correctly. Number two, you are able to listen and read the story. We are going to read story. Kita akan baca satu cerita dan tolong ikut baca sekali ya. Number three, you need to match words to the suitable adjective. Awak kena... Padankan perkataan dengan adjektif yang sesuai. Adjektif tu yang awak belajar tadi dalam ada empat tu. Okay, now let's look to the story. And then I'm going to play the video. And please listen carefully. Dengar betul-betul ya. Vocabulary. Listen and read. Scary. Scary. <laughs> Funny. Boring. <sighs> Boring. Delicious. Delicious. Popcorn. Popcorn. Okay, now awak dah belajar mengenai scary, Listen. funny, boring, delicious. You know the meaning, right? And now, turn to page 76. You are going to watch the conversation. Last night, Greg, Anna and Emma. Okay, tiap kali dia berhenti, awak kena sebut. We're at the cinema Baca. with Anna's dad. After the film, at Anna's house, Hello, were you at the shopping centre? No, we weren't. We were at the cinema. Was the film good? Yes, it was really funny. It was boring. No, it wasn't. It was scary. Mmm, that was delicious. Anna, the film was delicious? Um, no, the popcorn was. Anna was hungry. Make sure you read along, okay? Baca sama-sama. Alright, so today we are going to recap on a previous lesson about... Is a was were. I hope you still remember on this. I hope I was still in it. But well, let's uh do quick revision. Kita akan buat um ulang kaji sikit. Ready? Okay, let's go. Is, ah, is we write is when the action. Bila perbuatan tersebut dilakukan oleh satu orang sahaja. 
one person only. So one person only do the action. For example, Ali is eating. So how many person do the action of eat? Bapa orang yang tengah makan sekarang ni. Se o se orang. Seorang. So, seorang kita guna is. Is. Tapi, kalau lebih daripada seorang, more than one person, we use a. Kita guna a. Contoh, Ali and Abu a eating Okay We use is and are when we want to talk about things that happen now Kita bercakap mengenai perkara yang tengah berlaku sekarang now Tengah berlaku sekarang kita guna is dengan a Ali tengah makan sekarang Ali dan Abu tengah makan sekarang. Tapi macam mana kita nak bagi tahu how to inform others about things that happened yesterday that had happened before. Macam mana kita nak bagi tahu kat orang lain mengenai perkara yang telah berlaku sebelum ini? Ah, maksudnya in past. Past ni maksudnya telah berlaku. Bila perkara tersebut telah berlaku Kita nak cerita dekat orang lain, kita kena guna past tense. Past tense ni, is akan jadi was, are akan jadi were. Ingat eh? Ingat ni tips dia. Satu orang yang melakukan perbuatan tersebut. Okay? So, Ali was eating yesterday. So, Ali was eating yesterday. Ali and Abu tak boleh guna was eh. Kena guna were. Sebab orang yang melakukan perbuatan tersebut lebih daripada satu. Ali dan Abu, dua orang. Kalau dua orang, kita guna were. Were eating. Were eating yesterday. Boleh faham dekat sini? Maksudnya dah berlaku is akan jadi was are akan jadi were. Okay? New thing today, benda baru yang awak kena belajar hari ni pula ialah wasn dengan w e r e and apostrophe t weren wasn't dan weren ingat wasn't weren tapi apa maksud wasn't apa maksud weren what's the meaning of wasn't and what's the meaning of weren and how to use it okay wasn't and weren is actually a short form of was not were not means maksudnya kalau benda tu perbuat satu perbuatan tersebut tidak berlaku kita tulis was not wasn't ataupun weren contoh ali wasn't eating yesterday Ali and Abu weren't eating yesterday. Okay. Kalau kita tengok ayat ni, Ali was eating yesterday. Dia cakap Ali makan semalam. So, Ali makan. Tapi kalau dia letak ayat ni, 
Ali wasn't eating yesterday. Maksudnya, Ali tak makan semalam. Tak makan. So, maksud wasn't ni ialah tidak buat. Dia tidak buat perbuatan tersebut. Yang was ni maksudnya dia buat perbuatan tersebut. Faham? Okay, Ali and Abu were eating yesterday. Ali dan Abu makan. Ali and Abu weren't eating yesterday. Maksudnya, Ali dengan Abu tak makan pun semalam. Okay. Saya harap awak, awak faham kat part ni. Tapi bila ni kita nak guna benda ni? When are we going to use it? Bila ada orang tanya soalan kat awak. Contoh. Were Ali and Abu eat at the cafe? Yesterday ha. Kalau ada soalan yang awak jumpa Were Ali and Abu eat at the cafe yesterday? Adakah Ali dan Abu makan dekat cafe semalam? Ha, waktu ni lah awak nak guna Were ataupun weren Kalau Ali dengan Abu makan dekat cafe semalam Awak tulis Ali and Abu were eating yesterday kalau Ali dan Abu tak makan, awak tulis Ali and Abu weren't eating at the cafe yesterday. Faham? Faham tak kat situ? Awak kena ingat eh, kalau hujung ni good, um, permulaan dia dengan were, jawapan dia mestilah sama ada were ataupun weren't. Kalau permulaan dia was, jawapan dia mestilah was ataupun wasn't. Tengok, tengok dekat perbuatan tu dilakukan oleh bapa orang. Faham? Okay, nanti kita akan buat latihan ya. Okay, so ini adalah kesimpulan dia. Nak bagi awak senang faham. Kita okay, tengok dulu. Today is Monday. Today is Monday, right? So, Monday, kalau hari ni hari Isnin, sekarang kita guna is dan a. Yesterday, Sunday. Semalam. Nak cerita mengenai perkara yang berlaku semalam. Saya pergi ke pantai dengan family saya. My family and I are at the beach yesterday. Betul ke? Salah. Kalau benda tu dah berlaku semalam, kena tulis My family and I ada lebih daripada seorang kan? My family and I were at the beach yesterday. Okay? Benda yang sudah berlaku semalam tu semua awak guna was ataupun were. Ikut kuantiti orang. Okay. Kalau lah sekarang hari ni awak guna is ataupun a. He, she. Lagi satu. It. It kita guna untuk objek ataupun haiwan. Contoh. The cat. Haa. The cat, dia merujukkan kepada kucing. So, kucing kena guna it. The cat is a fluffy cat. It likes to eat fish. Ha, kita tulis it. Ataupun objek. The popcorn. Uh, Anna like to eat popcorn. It akan refer kepada popcorn. It is delicious. Okay, boleh? Okay, untuk A, macam saya cakap, untuk orang yang lebih daripada satu. Awak ingat yang ni je eh. Satu orang guna is ataupun was. Lebih daripada satu orang guna a ataupun were. Ini untuk hari ni. Was dengan were guna untuk yang sudah aa, tel, perbuatan yang telah berlaku. Kalau perbuatan tersebut dilakukan, tulis was. Kalau perbuatan tersebut tidak dilakukan, tulis wasn't. Kalau perbuatan tersebut dilakukan, were. Tidak dilakukan oleh ramai orang, tulis weren't. Okay? Faham yang ini? Kita pergi yang ini. I dengan you ialah special case. Special case. Saya letak bintang kat sini. Special sebab apa? I walaupun seorang 
was. Betul dah kan? I betul dah. Was dengan wasn't. Tapi you, walaupun dia merujukkan kepada satu orang, you, awak. Tapi dia tak di tempat was. Dia di tempat were dan weren't. Lagi satu, I tak boleh I is eh. I am. Sebab tu saya kata dia special. Kita tak sebut I is Ahmad. Bukan dia. I am Ahmad. Okay. Sebab tu dia tak duduk dalam kotak ni. Okay. Yang ini awak kena hafal eh. Yang ini awak kena hafal. Sebab I am. I was. I wasn't. You were. You weren't. Special case maksudnya kena hafal. Walaupun dia merujuk pada satu, dia tak berada dalam kotak, dia kena hafal macam ni. You tak boleh dekat was. Tak boleh you was. Walaupun satu, dia kena you were ataupun you weren't. Ini adalah rules dia dan awak kena ikut dan awak kena hafal. Boleh? Contoh ayat. You were at the cinema yesterday, right? You were... At the cinema yesterday. Right. Ah, Kalau contoh ni soalan. Kalau at guna you kena letak were. Tak boleh. You was. You was at the cinema yesterday. Right. Tak boleh. Sebab tu awak kena hafal. You sebelah you kena were. I sebelah I kena was. So tolong hafal ini semua ya. Hafal. Tips dia, nak ingat senang, S dekat hujung ni maksudnya satu orang yang melakukan perbuatan tersebut. Okay. Awak baca, nama tu ada seorang saja awak letak was. Contoh, Anna. Anna was a, Anna was eating popcorn. Ha, kalau Anna and Greg was ke were? Lebih daripada satu kan? So, Anna and Greg were eating popcorn. Okay. Kalau tak faham, what's it teacher, right? Was the film good? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were you at the shopping center? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. Take out your textbook and turn to page 76. Okay, do you still remember at the beginning of the lesson, we learned new vocabs that is scary, funny, delicious, boring. Uh, you need to fill in in the blanks given here. Awak kena isi tempat kosong dengan vocab yang kita belajar di awal pengajaran tadi. Scary, funny, delicious, boring. Macam mana nak isi? Awak kena tengok mimik muka karakter-karakter tersebut. Tengok muka, muka watak-watak tersebut. Ada muka seronok, ada muka tak seronok kan? So, awak kena isi tempat One, kosong. The popcorn okay, kosong. was... The popcorn was delicious. 2. The film was. The film was boring. 3. The film was. The film was funny. Four. The film was. The film was scary. Okay, so we have done all these four. So you need to write this in your English one, okay? Sila tulis dalam buku English one. Task number two, you need to listen and think. The correct answer, the correct picture is either A or B. Okay, so let's listen first. Tick. One. Hey, Kevin. 
Guess where we were yesterday afternoon. I don't know. Where? We were at the cinema. Was the film good? Yeah, it was really funny. Okay, contoh dah diberi untuk nombor satu. Nombor dua, nombor tiga, nombor empat. Awak kena buat sendiri, ya. Dengan two. betul. Hey, Derek. Were you at the new fast food restaurant yesterday? Yes, I was. The place was nice. What about the food? Was it delicious? No, it wasn't. It wasn't good at all. Three. Were you and your sister at home yesterday evening? Yes, we were. There was a good film on TV. Oh, really? Was the film funny? No, it wasn't. It was really scary. Four. Hey, Pat. Where were you yesterday afternoon? I was at the theatre. Was it good? No, it wasn't. It was really boring. All right, so let's go to task three. Look at the pictures given carefully and you need to fill in the blanks with was or were, wasn't or weren't. Kalau perbuatan tu dia buat, awak letak was. Kalau perbuatan tu dia tak buat, awak letak wasn't. Tapi awak kena baca pula. Berapa orang yang melakukan perbuatan tersebut? Kalau orang yang melakukan perbuatan tersebut, Ramai. Contoh nombor dua tu, we. We lebih daripada satu kan? We. Kami. So, jawapan dia mestilah sama ada were ataupun weren't. Kalau betul, tulis were. Kalau kenyataan tu tak betul, tulis weren't. Okay, yang lain awak cuba buat. Nanti kita bincang. Okay. Bye-bye. Good luck.